Warm welcome to another workshop about the new functions of the Management Center 2.4. In this workshop, we highlighting a little bit the topic security and SSL certificates. This plays in a modern internet connection world a very important role, and we from the Mobotics Management Center team we also have increased this functionality. In this situation, what we have built up here, we have a couple of cameras uh, fresh installed in the management center. And when we start the first time, um, the management center connecting to a camera, it's pop up the security prompt, which inform us something is wrong with the certificate, which is on the camera. It's not validating to the information which are uh, located, stored in the management center itself. Um, the user has the option to say trust, trust this time, or don't trust. And the new functionality is to see um, what is the issue. Please show me the camera certification which is stored in the camera. And then an experienced user will recognize immediately that the host name doesn't fit to the realistic IP address which the camera has right now. By default, every camera of the robotics gets a certificate. That certificate is registered to robotics and it's registered to the specific factory IP address. Of course, if you're using the cameras then in a different subnet, like I did here in my router DHCP environment, where I get a 192.168.1.x IP address for all my devices, inclusive the cameras, then the camera certificate never will fit. If we want to solve that, for that we have also created a functionality, another wizard in the management center to do that. But first, let us trust this camera because I have validated it's the camera, it's the factory IP address, I know it, I have installed it just right now, so it can't be other device, so I will trust this time. Then I will uh, go to the wizard and tools section of the management center. There is a, a new button, it's called SSL certificates. And there, if I select this one, I can adjust this SSL certificate for that specific camera. But I want to do that in one step for all cameras. And if you take a look here, currently it's the group Winweile and it selected only this camera with the factory IP address 188. Yeah, that's the traditional host name. And if I selecting now the whole crew, then it pops up, yes, as well the other camera has an issue with the certification. Yeah, it's the same topic. We have a 192 IP address provided by the router. And in the certificate, there is still the factory IP address of that camera. We trust as well to this camera at this time. And then we press again the SSL certificates. And then we recognize now all the cameras. Of course, in this case, we have only two cameras, but this also will work if there will be 75 or 80 cameras in the group. Then it will appear all the cameras which are selected in that group. Now we have selecting the group M16 and it's shown up here. So let us now starting with the certificate process. We say nest and then we have two options. Upload and root certificate, which we was getting from the IT department, or we have the chance to say no, we create our own certificate, which is probably the most and the easiest way um, in that scenario. Then we choose in create. If we create our own root certificate, there we need to type in the name. Let us say I'm using here a fictive name of my company. And then we need to type in a secure password. Repeat that secure password for that private key. And then we create and save. Then the system asks me where we should store that certificate securely. Uh, keep in mind that it's a key, a really private key, and that should be not getting to any third party. Uh, that should be really placed on a, on a secret place. Um, here we uh, choosing to be keep, to keep simple on the desktop, and I'm choosing here the certificate there and store it. Um, 
I did that before twice. Uh, um, let me choose here maybe that one, make a new one that I'm not overriding the others. Then I have stored that for later usage and then I say next. And then it's asked for the uh, certificate authority. They I need to type in standard things like company name, location, state, and so on. Um, let us do that here in the example. My company name is still like this. And the country is Germany. The state is Rheinland-Pfalz. That's a state here in, in Germany where Mobotics is located. Uh, choosing here my organization is also using the same as Steierwald GmbH. Um, I don't need to do using a unit, but I can also using the unit maybe IT division or whatever. But I need to type in the email address which is used for that certificate. Then I am choosing here the default validation time of that certificate that it's by default 10 years, but you also can choose any other uh, validation time, maybe a year, maybe two years, five years. That depends on your policies in your company. And then we create uh, that certificate. And then in the next step that it's useful and required for further management center installations. If we have more than one management center in use, then we need to transfer that good certificate to all the other management centers that they also can using the certificated uh, validated communication with the cameras. So we choose backup and then we also can say, uh, let us call that root Certify as name, also store that maybe under the desktop, say save, and then we go to the next step. As you can see, there's no way where you can make a big mistake. You only need to type in the correct names, address, and stuff like that, and then you can create such kind of certificates. Go to next, and then automatically in that step, we are choosing on the certificate which will taken to creating a camera certificate and it's also choosing the private key that we can generate from that root certificate a camera certification. The camera certification includes then the individual IP address which the camera has right now gotten from the system. So all what we need to type in right now it's the, the key what we have defined before Verify the data, then it's checking, yes, I can creating such a certificate. And then we say upload, and then the system uploads to each individual camera uh, camera certificate. Yeah? And that by that, uh, the system makes a um, massive job for us. Yeah? And this is what you can do with the SSL, SSL certificate wizard. After that procedure, the cameras will make a reboot and then after that the root certificate is it's created and all the cameras has their individual camera certificates. If you need to go to the next management center then you take the stored root certificate on the desktop folder, copy that to the next machine, go to the management center, open SSL certificate and only choosing one camera that's enough and then you're choosing upload root certificate and then you're choosing the stored root certificate and upload that to one camera or of course you creating a camera certificate and upload that camera certificate to camera but then as well the root certificate is copied to the system folder of the management center and then the, man the second management center and the third management center and so on can communicate it on a validated way with all the cameras. That is what you need to know about SSL certification and then you are uh, highly secured with your system. I hope you have enjoyed that workshop and uh, have fun with the functionality. Goodbye.